Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody from beautiful Las Vegas. Um, I was laying there watching the sun come up and I was like, I think I need to go outside. I need to be in the elements. Plus the hotel should be pretty quiet. I know Las Vegas never sleeps, but it should be pretty quiet. And it, it was it navigating the elevator with no one there coming outside um, to just spend a moment and thank God, thank the universe for waking me up and allowing me to breathe easy, allowing me to be at peace with who I am and to be grounded. You know, every day is an opportunity for us to be our absolute best. Every day is an opportunity for us to identify how we can better ourselves and better the world. Yeah, I got this hoodie on, y'all. It's, it's cold out here. It's cold, like Georgia cold. But um, in this beautiful scenery, I wanted to just take a moment and remind you that if you're stuck in the process of your childhood, if you're stuck in the process of pain, if you're stuck in the process of just life in general, part of what you need to do is get unstuck. Put yourself in a position to be happy. Put yourself in a position to receive those things that you desire. Put yourself in a position to want more peace. Every day is an opportunity for you to take advantage of that situation. Now, here's the deal. If you are sitting around upset, angry, frustrated, mad, the whole nine yards unforgiving at others, because of your life, <laughs> look in the mirror. Check yourself first. Here's the thing. I was thinking about this on, well, actually flying out and all this week because I, you know, of course, work with different clients and, and I have some clients who love to be in the victim role, um, love to be in the woe and it's me role. Not to say what they experience isn't true, but at some point you have to identify why, why am I still lying in the role of a victim? Why am I still sitting in the place of hurt? Why does that feel so good? You have to ask yourself, is this where I belong? Or do I deserve more? You don't deserve to rest and bathe in hurt. You don't deserve to rest and bathe in unforgiveness. Have you ever wondered why your life hasn't moved forward well let me give you a hint you don't forgive you don't forgive things happen in our life things happen in our childhood uh, and I'm gonna say this you know part of every day is an opportunity to do better is really you know a wholesome way to look at things I was thinking about the Kirk Franklin um, issue with his son which to me really isn't an issue I can tell you that um, two years ago in 2019, my son and I fell out and I made the tough decision, dude, I can't talk to you until you decide that you, one, want to respect me, two, appreciate yourself and love on yourself, and three, find your wholeness, find your forgiveness, get past the hurt, get past the pain. Yes, stuff happened. Pain was created. A lot of outside of his control and I ended up being the target and it was cool because I gave myself permission to move away when we started back talking last year so it was a year he said to me mom that's the best thing that you could have ever done for me which was to force me to appreciate myself and to appreciate you because the one thing it taught me is regardless of what's going down you're gonna have my back but I have to respect you you have to command respect in every aspect of your life. Don't be a doormat. Take every opportunity to reach your place of peace. Take every opportunity to be satisfied in, with you and yourself. We've all gone through some level of hurt. We've all gone through some level of disappointment. The difference is, is for Marcia, I just choose not to be in disease. I choose not to allow myself to be knocked down or become a rug. I choose to be happy. 
I had a client to say, you can't always be happy. Oh, but I can. Even on days when days are tough, I typically just laugh stuff off and be like, man, that's some bulls. And then I get back to, you know, I'm cool with things. But I don't let it rest. When you let unhappiness, when you let disappointment, when you let frustration and all those things occur to you and rest and stay on you and clothe you, cover you, you're going to always be unhappy. The things that you say you desire the most, I know there are a lot of people saying, oh man, me and my mom didn't have the best relationship. I don't want to be like her, but you turned into her. Oh man, me and my dad didn't have the best relationship. I don't want to be like him, but you turned into him. Because in your heart, in your mouth, and in your mind, you kept speaking what you didn't want, but you always acted like that's what you wanted, right? And so the truth is this. You're going to have whatever you desire and whatever you speak of the most and whatever rests in your heart the most. You have the power to change that. So instead of all of the negatives I don't want, begin to speak more of what you want. What you want to experience? Do you want to experience happiness? Speak that. Do you want to experience love? Speak that. Walk in it. Move in it. Do you want to experience breakthrough in every area of your life? Speak that thing. Let me tell you. And this, I break it down just as simple as this. And this isn't a religious rant or anything like that. But if you believe in the in the creativity of the universe and believe in God as, as the universal creator, based on studies, based on the Bible, he spoke to create this place. He spoke to create humans. But if I'm not mistaken, he also said we were created in his image and retained the same power. So one plus one equals two. Speak or don't speak, we'll get results. It's really that simple. Take every day as an opportunity to be your absolute best self. Because you know what? You only get that moment. You only get that time. Don't let that moment or that time rest in unforgiveness and unhappiness. Go get you some happy. Go get you some happy. That's all I'm saying. Get you some happy. Get you some get you some peace grab hold to it wrap yourself in that get you some self-love love on you speak good to yourself be good to yourself get you some of that all right y'all it's a little too cold out here for the kid you know i'm on the hunt for some coffee and then i'm gonna chill for a couple hours hopefully the warms up so i can go and enjoy this beautiful pool area and sit out and chill out uh, before I have to get on the flight later tonight. Yes, I'm on another red eye. But be good to yourself. Um, love on yourself. Love on your family. COVID is not over. It ain't over. Thankfully, I got my first vaccine. Thankfully, you know, uh, everywhere here requires masks. So you don't see people running around without masks or anything like that. But wash your hands because people are touching elevators and all that kind of stuff. Door knocks when you walk in the stores and all that kind of stuff. Wash your hand. Keep your, your mouth and your nose covered as much as possible. This thing ain't over. But today, grab hold of your peace. Grab hold of your joy. Grab hold of your self-love. And be easy. Be good. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody.